Danny Flexen here for Sportsbet with the latest edition of the Sportsbet Burpee Challenge. Darren Barker, former IBF World Middleweight Champions here to take on the might that is Bianca Gascoigne. She managed to do 25 burpees in a minute. How do you think you'll measure up at such a consummate athlete as Bianca? It, it, uh, on my life, if she beats me, you'll never see me ever again. I'll go into hiding. So what, what did she do? She managed to do 25 burpees in a minute. Well, if I can't do 26, yeah, you won't see me again. All right, well, we hope there's more reasons now that you managed to do it. We're also making a donation on your behalf yeah. to the Boxing Board of Control charity, and you've worked with them before. I believe there was a, a bicycle ride That's for right. Cuba. Just tell us what they do and why you felt you had to donate to them. Well, look, boxing's a very tough sport, and uh, it's been well documented about mental health, etc. And, you know, obviously, boxing also is, is the hurt business, if you like, uh, to call it one name. and injuries can can occur and you know I'm, I'm a big boxing fan a former boxer and I know how hard it can be for some some of these fighters male or female after the sport so you know the charity helps those helps the families and uh, yeah it's very close to my heart um, I actually spoke to to the main man Robert Smith and said you know um, the the board of control that helps me realize my dream and my brother's dream of winning a world title uh, will always be close to my heart and I'll always try and help so yeah it, it means a lot to me you mentioned your, your brother there, Gary. Mm. I think recently it was the anniversary of his yep. passing. Unfortunately, 12 years it's been now. Do you still kind of think about him on a regular basis and kind of what everything you do it brings him to mind? Everything I do. I mean, it, for boxing, every title I won, every fight I won was all dedicated to my brother because there was no doubt. I mean, he was the naturally talented one out of the two of us. He really was, and he would have gone on to achieve more than I did, no, no doubt. So, yeah, everything was dedicated to him. And, yeah, of course, I mean, I think about him all the time. Monday was a... Was a was a sad day. The the day before, actually, on the Sunday, we was uh, me and my wife were in um, floods of tears. You know, like just going over stories, and yeah, it was. It'll always be raw. It'll always be sad. But you know, I, I've got a duty now to achieve everything for him. And you know, he would be bitterly disappointed in me if he was to see that I was moping around and uh, yeah, not so living my life. I guess. And you talked about the, the duties you've got now and to, to achieve things and yep. to enjoy success post-boxing. Mm -hmm. We're here at one of your gyms, yep. the 12-3 in Allgate. You've got another one in West London as well. Yep. Just tell us a bit about that and, and what's taking up your time now you're not boxing. Yeah, well, the, the gym. The gym, pretty much. The gyms. It's a very uh, impressive facility. I'm doing a fair bit of media work as well. But, yeah, me and my, my former teammate at Repton, Ryan Picard, um, yeah, co-founded 12 Freezer. We wanted to give a bit of heritage and a bit of authenticity to, to boxing training. And I think that's what you get here, you know, just for, for one namesake. We've got Neil McKenzie at the back there, one of our coaches and who, who's been there and done it, you know. Uh, and and that's, the, that's the difference, you know. We've got coaches that have been in the ring and, and that's what we try and offer. But this is for everyone, you know. This is, it doesn't matter if you're male, female, 60 year old, 18 year old, do you know what I mean? Anyone can come down, any fitness level. and. Uh, it, though it's got a nice boxing feel about it, it's not intimidating, and yeah, it's uh, it's. I'm very proud, very proud of what we've achieved there. Now you've given the big sell on the gym, you better do the consummate, you know, impressive Remember, amount I'm, of burpees. I'm, yeah, I'm a coach. I'm not pretending to be fit anymore. <laughs> You're I'm a former world middleweight champion. Well, I mean, if you ago. can't beat the Angus, well, well I won't do it. If I don't do 26, you will not see me again. I'll end up in Lapland somewhere. <laughs> it's appropriate, seasonal. All right, well, we'll let you go and limber up, and we'll be back in a minute with the Lovely. challenge. Sports Bet Burpee Challenge begins now. That's 10 seconds gone. Pick up the pace, Darren, come on. Do it for Barnet. Come on, son. Ah, keep going, Dale. Doing good, keep going. Do it for 12-3. Keep going, Dow. Good shape, son. Right, that's the halfway mark. Good shape, seconds. Dow. Keep going to pace. Keep the pace going, son. It could be Anka Gasquet. Exactly. Come smart. on, come on. Come on. Keep the pace going. Keep that pace. How many have done? How many Keep top? going, Dow. Don't worry about how many you've done. Keep going. You're doing great. Keep that pace up. Ten seconds left. Come Ten on. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's get Ten out of here. Come on down! Come on Lincoln down! Three, Come on down! Two! One! Ah. Woo! Three! Three. How many is that? 35! Well done, mate. 
So we're here with Darren Barker, still catching his breath after breaking the record. I think, what do we say? Yeah. And the new. Except I won't call you Darren is it, Baker. Is this going to be continued? Are people going to be doing this all yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, So someone else is going to try and beat your record yeah, of 35. Very it'd, impressive. It'll be beaten next week, I would have thought. Well, you beat her by 10, so that's quite a big margin. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone's going to be beating you by 10 anytime soon. Was it harder than you expected? No, I know how our burpees are, but I ain't done them in a while. So, so yeah, I'll take 35. Yeah, all right. We're going to bring in Mick Collier. Mick's from the British Boxing Board of Control, chairman of the Southern Area Council. You were delighted, I believe, when you heard Darren was planning to donate um, from this challenge to the Boxing Board of Control Charity Fund. Just tell us a bit about what the fund does. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Darren Thanks on doing the Thanks, mate. He knows I've got dodgy hips as well. <laughs> He's got them himself. I, Anyone who's seen the Sturm fight knows he's got dodgy <laughs> hips now. I've been all like, what I'd like to say is I've been all over the world with Darren and doing his fights, and he's a great exponent and a great servant to British boxing. And what he's done today will go a long way to help people with encouragement, not only financially, but with encouragement. And he knows what goes on. The Boxing Ball Charity was set up to give donations to ex-boxers who've fallen on hard times throughout the year. It makes Christmas donations as well with people. And it also gives money to medical research, which is what Darren touched on. So there's all these things going on with scans and uh, aftercare and, and mind and stuff like that. So everything he's done today will contribute to that. And it's great to have someone like Darren who's still involved in boxing still involved in the game, doing stuff like this, because it brings it all to the public's attention. So once again, thanks, Darren. My pleasure. So for people out there that are watching this and would really like to contribute, obviously boxers give us so much and we want to give back to them. <coughs> and they might not want to knock out 35 burpees in a minute, even if they could. What's the best ways for the, the normal person to donate? Well, the normal person can, can donate through the Boxing Ball Charity, which is a separate entity, although it's managed by a, a boxing board council it's a separate entity to the boxing board so they can donate through the boxing board and it will go to the people i just mentioned and they do that just by if there's a phone number presumably email yeah, address they and can so ring on. the head office which is in cardiff and it's, it's on the website go on and make a donation and make you know some of these boxes that have fallen on hard times happy christmas brilliant thanks for that mick no problem. darren you talked about the next challenger to your crown that you've just taken on yeah. first defense if you like um, how hard is it going to be for them? What would you say to the next person to fill your shoes? Just don't do it. <laughs> My business partner over there, Ryan Pickard. Would you get 42? So he done 42. When no, he but we got to, we got to say that's not been officially verified by no, the sports no. bet adjudicators. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do believe Ryan. He's a trustworthy guy. We've talked to him before, but you know. Yeah, I would say breathe. Yeah. Don't hold your breath because I think that's where I went wrong there. I'm still blowing. All right, well. If you're a boxer out there or a celebrity in another walk of life and you think you can beat Darren, like to make some money for your chosen charity, bring it on, step it up. And we look to forward seeing They can't seeing be active. You. They can't be active fighters. That's not fair. Oh. They've got to be retired. Bianca Gascoigne's an active celebrity. Yeah, because so she's got an advantage of me then. I'm, I'm, I'm active nothing. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you for the next Sports Bet Challenge. And we thank again Darren Barker, Mick Collier from the Board of Control. Well done. Thank you.